Hey, this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. How's it going? All right, today we have over here a Dell Inspiron. Say, say, Inspiron. Whatever. <laughs> uh, 580. It's an older Dell. I think almost 10 years old. But it's still a decent machine, especially if you want to go budget. You can upgrade certain parts in it and you can get a pretty decent studio machine or a backup machine. Like for example, the CPU, let's point that little spinny thing over there. There's lots of spinny things in there. Uh, that is running an i7-860, which is about 2.8 gigahertz of CPU-ness uh, processing power. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, and that can be get for $24 on eBay. If you don't have a Mac CPU that you can upgrade it to, i7-880. But the problem with the 8080 is it's only 3.06 gigahertz. And it's like 100 bucks, like around $98 going for right now, street price eBay. So I'm just like, however, you can downgrade it. Like you can find an 870 for $29 which is 2.93. Say like $29, you get an 870. That's what I would go with. With the RAM, it has 16 gigs of DDR3 uh, RAM. I think it's uh, 1600, 133. Uh, and that's the max amount. I tried figuring out if you can do more, uh, but you can't. Uh, right now there's four slots in there and they're at four gigabytes per slot. Uh, you cannot do like the eight gig per slot. The, the BIOS just does not support it. So at 16 gigs, that's actually really decent for what I'm gonna plan on doing with it. Um, I'm just gonna load probably some DAW on there and that it's gonna be it. It's really, it's not gonna be like a heavy working machine, but in the same sense, I'm gonna might do other things as well. All right. And, and then the next thing for the hard drive, I decided to update the hard drive. And right now I, I have a, um, a 240 gigabyte SSD. I got it at Best Buy and it is a easy store drive. Picked it up for around 40 bucks. Decent. And that makes a huge difference, especially when you're working on, you know, some of your heavy, you know, music projects, uh, the, the, the drive speed or the, the quickness of the drive is really what I find that's really helpful and the CPU. Um, all right, so then the next thing is the video card, video card right here. It, um, now, this video card was taken from my parts bin. I had it in there for a long time from another project and I actually got this video card in around 2019 from Micro Center and I picked it up for about 200 bucks and I was using it for something else. I think I had a small ITX board and that's what I bought it for. But then I end up never using it. So I was like, okay, I'll just throw it in here, upgrade the current video card. And you know, that's what I did. So the, I actually paid about $200 for that video card. It's an overclocked video card. So let me give you the specs on it. It is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX Mini ITX OC. Yeah, big long words for these damn video cards, but whatever. And it's four gigabytes. Actually a really decent card. Here, it's a little bit of a hum going on right now with it. Yeah, that's actually coming from that video card fan right there. So I don't like it. The case back onto it, it it'll be a little bit quieter. So I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Everything else is pretty quiet. This, the, the, oh, the, the other thing I, I like about this video card is, is I don't need to upgrade the power supply. Uh, it doesn't need any extra power ports. Uh, so that was, that was the one thing that I did like about it. So oh, right now I have Linux Mint on it. Um, I just wanted, I just wanted to throw something on there and just kind of get, you know, to get a feel for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it to Windows 10, I Actually think, downgrading to like Windows 7. So I'm not really sure yet. Um, the reason being is Windows 7 just seems like I could put like a lot of older stuff, like a lot of older plugins, a lot of run, a lot of older stuff that you can't do on Windows 10. And especially for these older machines, 
it's kind of like perfect for that, especially when you, you do the SSD and, and you put a, a, a decent graphics card in there and you can actually have some amazing performance. Psst. Hey, I actually have an, another machine that I am running Windows 7 on. I had a problem with it at all. So that's just my thing. So I think I will do Windows 7. And oh, as far as hard drives and how I'm gonna upgrade it, uh, let me show you this part. Uh, if we can see here, you can see right here is you got a hard drive that goes in here and you got a hard drive going here, but you also have, let's see, you turn it around here. You have a drive bay up here and then you have a, a drive here, but you also have this thing right here. This is like, um, oh, I pushed it in too far. Uh, I got to fix that, but it's like a, a place where you can put like a uh, camera, I guess it's like um, SD cards and stuff. And then it's got a, a USB port. So it's actually a pretty cool machine. I don't know if you can see this right here, but this is called an Orico, Orico. You can get them off of Amazon for seven bucks. And what they are is, is they're a, um, an adapter for SSD and they go to the three and a half uh, drive, three and a half inch drive. And and basically you can put that in, you know, the, the like a, a CD drive bay or wherever a hard drive would normally fit. So like I got two, two spots here where I can put it in there. Also, I got this thing. I found this at Micro Center and um, I really like this cool thing. And and you can actually put two SSDs in there and it has the, the back plate. So I was thinking I was gonna put that up here where the um, card reader is because I'm not gonna use that. I'd rather just have this for access for SD drives. So that's where I'm thinking I'm gonna put those two. Cheers, see ya, bye.